Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. Got some new information in the Chad Dorman case. Chad Dorman, 32 years old, arrested for murdering his three children. Claremont County, Ohio. Got some new information. He was in court. And I want to show you right now him in the courtroom going in. I'm going to show you some pictures too. Check it out. So what is going on with Chad Dorman? Well, they got like 30 motions his defense has filed. He wants actual felons to be able to be on the jury pool. Felons that completed their sentence. Let me share this report with you here and then we will continue to discuss. The father accused of executing his three sons in the front yard appeared in court on Monday for a motions hearing where the judge revealed there are more than 30 pending motions in the case. Chad Dorman has pleaded not guilty to murdering his sons, ages 3, 4, and 7, despite his arrest while sitting next to a rifle, and later allegedly admitting to police that he killed the children. Dorman faces a potential death sentence if convicted of the murders. Dorman appeared at Monday's hearing wearing a blue-collared shirt and khaki pants, as Judge Richard Ferentz acknowledged from the bench that he had granted a defense motion to allow the defendant to appear in civilian clothes. While Dorman was shackled in court, Ferenc appeared poised to grant a separate defense motion to allow him to appear in court unrestrained. I've been advised and I've so advised counsel that Mr. Dorman has not been disruptive in any fashion at the county jail, has not caused any problems. He's been in my courtroom twice and has been very compliant. And that will weigh into the methods of restraints that I'll consider at issue at this point in time. Ferentz reserved ruling on the issue, as well as the more than 30 other motions currently pending in the case. Among those motions discussed in court on Monday were requests by the defense to exclude some photographs from the trial. The defense acknowledged their motion was unspecific and maybe premature, but said they wanted to plant the fence post in the capital crimes record. Hamilton County Prosecutor Mike Allen told the Cincinnati Inquirer that among the motions filed by the defense was one he had never seen. That motion requested that the jury pool be allowed to include convicted felons who have served their sentences. Allen told the newspaper, The thought must be that if you've been convicted by a jury and served time, you might be sympathetic to a defendant. Do you think felons should be able to be on his jury pool? His trial was scheduled for July 8th, 2024, so it, it will be a while. But I'm thinking it could possibly be delayed. What he did basically was the worst of the worst. And it's most likely uh, the penalty with this case, he's going to get the death penalty. Unless you feel otherwise. I don't know if you saw the body cam footage of his arrest. He was sitting there on his porch when the, when the police rolled up after he did this horrific crime. Now I was at the house. I visited the home. There's a memorial in front of the home. It shocked the entire community there in Southern Ohio. It's a little bit outside Cincinnati, Ohio. What's going to happen with this case? Is there any way you feel that Chad is uh, justified in doing what he did? Uh, do you feel like it may be an insanity type of uh, plea? And something in that round or not guilty, but mentally ill, but mentally ill, but guilty type of thing going on. Don't know the statutes in reference to Ohio when it comes to that. But it doesn't seem like this trial because this incident happened in June of this year, 2023. So he's already going to trial, scheduled trial, 13 months into it. Three counts of murder, capital case. And you think they're ready for trial? I'm not so sure. Well, I'm covering this case extensively. Subscribe to my channel. Like, hit the notification button. Was there. Spoke to a neighbor there who gave tremendous insight about that particular home. The family dynamics. Who Chad is. He has family in Florida. Will his parents come up there 
to Ohio to attend future uh, court proceedings remains to be seen. And when new information comes out with this case, I will share with all of you. He's actually begging for mercy. Believe it or not, he's actually begging for mercy. Let me share one more thing with you. According to news reports, right? News reports, uh, crime online is saying that he's begging for mercy. Dad seeks mercy. He seeks mercy. Mercy. After allegedly slaughtering three sons execution style in front of their mom. Now this article says... Uh, his three children. He has three children. He had three, age three, four, and seven, in front of his wife and his stepdaughter. And now he's pleading for mercy. Do you think he should get any mercy with this case from the judge, the jury, the prosecutor? I mean, this is like literally, this is your own children. And, you know, it's, I don't know, you should read the affidavit of probable cause because it's very graphic. I don't really want to say specifics in this video, but it's, it's shocking to the core what Mr. Dorman do, did. And uh, now he's being held accountable for it. So we'll continue to cover this case. All eyes, all eyes, Claremont County, Ohio. Uh, we will pay attention. And when more information comes out about this case, if it gets delayed, if, if there's a, uh, monkey wrench thrown into the case i will share with all of you jlr investigates keep tabs on my channel we will talk soon stay tuned